Ni aje kafura. Mr. DMB, Niaja. Nasa maja mjera niko fiti mbaya Shukran kwa kwa hapa karibu tu another Sana kwa sana Sunday session on this 22nd day of May 2022 Babo ni aja Babu na tumai uko salama. Salimia DMB. Mwenye likusifia last week. <laughs> Nawe pia uka msifia mkasifiana. Kama ilivyo ada tutaanza na wiki iliyopita kisha tuone mazungumzo ya leo niko na vitu kadhaa that naweza gusia so we shall get to that asante kwa kuwa hapa for another sana kwa sana sunday session as usual kwa unajua ngoma nimecheza nikianza unaweza itaja kwa comment section probably not hizi ni zile deep kenyan cuts that lazima kwe umediga mu unajua catalogs kadhaa kujua ni ngoma gani yenye nilikuwa nacheza but with that <clears throat> Come on if I ham. Comment section is open. 
last week nilikuwa hapa na babo DMB alikuwa na sisi pia kwa our discussion tulikaa hapa di masaa zake <laughs> and as usual whenever that happens just know ni kazi ya babu whenever tumeka hapa di for asubuhi just know babu has to be involved aiezi kwa niko tu peke yangu na niko na other people na tumeongea na tumechill hadi for asubuhi ka tumeka hapa hadi your time the person to blame if you want to blame or the person to attribute that to ni babu Last week tuli ongelea Mr. Moral and the big steppers and that was coming from our discussion ya yeah. to discussion but ilikuja after our ilikuwa part of our discussion but after a freestyle session on friday then babo aka suggest to discuss the album so we discussed mr moral and the big steppers last sunday all the way through all the way to monday 3 4 am iliko our longest live session yet and how did we know <laughs> kuli kona time limit <laughs> we've done lives before most of the time is our lives huko disrupted juu ya tenje yangu kuzima na eb na babu ni enjoy hapa kila time because of that so tukongi tumefika that long into a session then the other time that na feel tulikuwa na our longest session il almost adi adi until kituka maybe 3:30 3:40 on a monday morning but hiyo pia tulifanya twice so ilikuwa when we were recapping our mwe experience the music writer exercise ilikuwa again na babu na abe but tenje ilizima so tukafanya another session so today maybe the duration was almost to that length na ilifika 4 hours though but almost last week to kafika 4 hours on a live session 4 hours 4 hours and lisa mataka ni ku fight capitalism hiyo yetu ni story nyingine but that was our discussion Kendrick Lamar's album Mr Moral and the Big Steppers kulikuwa na perspectives tuli share kulikuwa na views tulipeana and the discussion watu pia walikuwa kwa the chat outside of mina babu kuiongelea wali participate kuongelea even the artwork the album itself the understanding so far as of last week na hiyo ilikuwa our discussion so in depth na na feel kama ujaziona since ilikuwa in two parts <laughs> July vya kwanza iliisha due to limit sisi mukuzima kuna the second part when ilikuwa na pia na my review of the entire project after my first listen Melvo na ku big up sai na I don't Melvo akwangi uh, on IG maybe ata yona YouTube but ataka ataiona Melvo ali watch your breakdown the other breakdown that I had it was 45 minutes long nikiwa solo after to share have our discussion about babu and babu ni join for the other one to kamaliza as well as queen akini melvo ali on your review on youtube so shukran to melvo for that if you are interested na inaweza kwambi wende uone hata achana na yangu ende uone yenye ndiko na babu the 3 hours plus it's almost 4 3 hours and 58 and 59 minutes uzuri iko na time stamps so when you're after kitu you're interested in on youtube nileka time stamps and you can 
watch hizo discussions zilikuwa intriguing sana then from then kuna reviews that tumechangamkia hii wiki <laughs> ah ona dm bia chanza kusema hivyo nimechelewa hapa amesema ni yake prize ya kujoia ngoma since shashuru la utamwezi jua unless ungekuwa hapa na viva ange play tricks zake au uh, shazami ngoma waambie basi kwa sure shazami naweza identify hiyo ngoma then babu amesema i actually thought it was my country people i was well pleased and now i have to go looking in mongolia story aida DMB amesalimika hapo na babu akasema I am happy to be here I actually feel in the comment nasema leo kodo amechelewa nimeshinda nikingoja notification <laughs> I'm glad DMB amepata a community ya kuchila hapa It's been an amazing journey kufanya hizi live sessions for the very many weeks that tumeifanya na kuona the kind of community that to me build i was mentioning that on saturday morning or on friday morning since we had our freestyle earlier tulikuwa na freestyle from midnight so after that session just looking at the community to me build the experiences to me build the memories to me create pamoja ni exciting ni humbling na ni magical So last week or this past week depending on when your week starts tulikuwa na the second batch of reviews za kushughulikia rather mimi kushughulikia so that entail Chimano's debut EP Heavy is the Crown si juu if umeisikiza kama umeisikiza niambie na maoni yako pia na wende kwa hiyo video wache comments huko tumepata comments which we shall read kwa our next <laughs> reviews ama kwa the next videos imekuwa na interactions which i am grateful for heavy is the crown interesting discussions kuhusu sound yenye chimano alitumia and vile alij express on that ep ili form a lot of talking points for us as well as the artwork the artwork tulika tukaichambua for a number of minutes and where else can you find such ni sana kwa sana peke yake then kulikuwa na njiru njiru ep yake inaitwa kuna another debut ep by the singer and songwriter that was the second video to share the third video was funk to black EP ya EA waves on new funk then after that kulikuwa na peace places kenyan memories by nyokabi karyuki classical contemporary then lastly kulikuwa na koko m kilumi makilumi the last two ni debut EPs new funk amekuwa for the scene for a long time na ako na projects kibao sana under his belt for nyokabi na koko m hizo ni debut ep zao which you should definitely check out both the eps na our reviews remember our mission 1k subscribers na kama hujambia watu wa subscribe kama hujachukua phone za watu ka subscribe bila kujua you are not doing your job you are failing at your job changamka vile inafaa na tuachie comments kwa hizo videos tulisema hapa several weeks months in fact back acha comments kwa hizo videos ndio in future when the name starts becoming something kuko na evidence usianze ku regret ukutuachia comment or you watch the video people want to believe that i knew these people do the thing do the thing so all those all those reviews are out then so in as a eater just uh we'll get into 
the events and places that nimekuwa yuki nime tembea sana nime zurura sana so we'll just get into discussing the events and activities that nime partake in if kuna a topic that you'd want perspectives on or touched upon feel free to kurusha ko comment section kama kuna swali utilize your button ya, ya maswali hapo hivyo hapo hivyo on your bottom right utilize that thing iko na question mark hapo if you have any questions you can just use it for fun pia baba anasema i think now i have a mission for going outside On Wednesday kulikuwa na a launch by Hivos at Baraza Media Lab uko Riverside and this ties into something that I wanted to discuss but stay gusia rather na zai gusia but sita get into detail I, I want to have this well written well detailed well thought out before ni share about it juni vitu that have to do with legal matters and kuna definition of terms and things that need to be accurate na well stated so staki tuifanye blindly but kile ntagusia one of the aspects or rather vitu ntagusia nikiongelea hiyo ni ya hivus will touch upon it kidogo and what nasema ni something nataka tuongelee ama nilikuwa nafikiria tunaweza zungumzia ni story ya sauti so na <laughs> wana nafikiria nafikiria nasa nafikiria wako wa Kenya <laughs> azimio kutumia extravaganza i did not see how they used the song so i didn't see whatever content wali tumia hiyo ngoma for i just saw their notice their complaint then the responses that followed kutoka kikobo kutoka the clueless ezekiel mutua kutoka the clueless and ignorant kenyans so hiyo ni something that tunaweza gusia kidogo maybe tukimalizia najua uko na views kuihusu and then we'll have a proper deliberation on it ju na feel this in a bring up stories nyingi sana and a lot of aspects za copyright that zinafakukua stated clearly so tutagusia hiyo kwa a different session possibly next week nipate time ya kukaa na ku organize my thoughts as i should ndio nifanye justice just matters copyright and easy bodies zile ziko involved statements walitoa vitu walisema who was right who was wrong easy vitu zote the different types of rights kuna sometime back nili share video flani on i think you really go on publishing rights na song publishing was it publishing and i think and songwriting kuna a video a reel that nili share apa some time back so you 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 mostly for the creators the singers and songwriters as well as the producers then where the publishing companies come in and record labels and who the copyright holders are so kuna a lot of distinctions that we need to look at and discuss so we shall have that as a separate conversation all together but nikiongelea hii launch ya hivos definitely i'll touch rather kidogo to don't share some what our discussion should be about ni vitu za za copyright vitu za ip 
ju hatujui a lot kuzihusu and ni poa pia tukia those discussions so nione uh, yeah, I, I was sure I was sure this was someone testing how the button works. Yes, Babu, the button works. We may confirm. And especially, and if you have questions, if you throw them there, ni easy sana. And then if I tap the question, you can see it on screen. So for example, if I tap Babu's question, you can all see it on screen. Does this button work? So it's it's something cool, something cool. Inafanya kazi, itumie, itumie, tutumie zi feature za Instagram. Babu anasema, of course, homophobia dog walked Kenyans. They chose violence and worthless politicians over something so straightforward. Kwa zata yu pati ya homophobia uminikumbusha. He, ninyo si jini nusu mboa Kenya. Binadamu tu in general. Very, very shitty people. Shitty. The definition. The very definition of that term. <laughs> also, this altercation showed us how Kenyans view creatives. The moment I saw those discussions online, you were amongst the first things I thought about. How Kenyans view creatives. You will be kitu ya kwanza. Nilifikiria. Unfortunately, kwangu si surprising. And on Wednesday, ni mungelea kutoka Baraza Media Lab for Hivos' Hivos' <laughs> event. Nilikuwa na some two, some two people. And we were discussing art and music. And yu topic ya sautu soul na copyright ili come up. Then, the other thought was if Isana Italipa. I don't ask myself that question because I really don't care whether it does for me. I do things without expectations and results. <laughs> we had the conversation to review our year last year, our recap year 2021. Nakumbuka ilikuwa kama swali think from ebe na tukasema hatuna any expectations regarding kile tunafanya we need money <laughs> money is the expectation the bug is the expectation the bug is the goal the bug is the path the means the end the bug is everything. So I asked one of the people who look at Natembea now tao, as we were heading home. After also alia kujuliza kama sana itajipa na kufikiria whether your stress ya create music ni worthwhile. Going to the studio, having those nights kwa studio, spending time back and forth. And your energy too. Whether it a bear fruit. So... Within that was now discussing Saudi Soul. Now the idea that the people you want to reach Niao wa Kenya. Then after that, Nikauliza, do you want to be big? Oh yeah, Nikama kuna mtu na beef na mtu wa ndudhi hapana madam hapana nilikuja kwanza hapana madam sitakubali hiyo ni mtu hizi mita tunaishi so nikauliza if they want to be famous if they want to be really really big na akasema yes so with that question answered in that manner nikamwambia 
if that's what you want and if that's your goal then unajua au ndo wa Kenya wenye una deal nao au ndo watu wenye ni your audience because you want to be famous you want to be popular and to be popular au ni part of the numbers ndio ufike hiyo level ya sauti soul ndio ufike level ya bahati nadia major willy paul calligraph nyash you have to appeal to a mass audience and you have to reach that mass audience and ikisema reach see not only your physical reach but also reach your music yako in terms of kukona music relatable jo another aspect of the conversation that we have as we were walking home which is another conversation i usually have with people whenever na ngilia creativity and to me have up a number of times babo has been part of it bnb you've been part of it i think afura too ni creating for the self then sharing so ukifika a level where let's say you have a hit or do you want to have a hit you'll have to forget that na itabaki umefogo hiyo idea creating for yourself you, you need to create for the mass so nika mwambia if unadai kuwa famous know that au ndio watu una deal na wao hiyo ndio your audience and then tukumbuke the kenyan audience is very fickle especially if you're huge and you have to keep them on your side all the time you have to keep them there all the time sana sana kutumia content yako sometimes that leads to a huge burnout for the artist mwenye ana create ngoma some artists sustain them lakini you also need to have systems that work for you and you sustain and you need a high level of consistency speaking of sauti soul nilikuwa na remark that level yenye wako all these years later not even their peers wako hiyo level and they are the only ones who've done it ini watu wenye walikuja hapa 2008 waka pick na lazizi angalau for the larger audience and they've kept their spot for all of these years adisai is only very many years up until now 14 years badok was strong they are still the talk of town they're still performing globally wakona sold out shows apa iv they are still a huge name since 2008 adisai they are the only ones who've managed that the rest otunimetaja kina nadia calligraph major major had hit songs then but ile level in sauti soli mefika in kenya in east africa and globally major yuko your level and the demographic that sauti soli make at across ni huge so kinakali nyash took a break came back 2015 2016 and then now the nadias a very young pop star the bahatis they will pause or may peak in mid twi- mid 2010s mid to late 2010s so they have managed to do this for such a long time now the point to drive up any the need for structures and systems that work do you sustain career yako that long then it's harder if you are in a group you it's another feat that they've achieved as a group you very many things happen in groups na kujia ka pamoja na ku maintain ile goal mlikuwa nayo mkianza and keeping that as your main focus ni ngumu for very many groups so what they've done or message precedence you how many people can follow that up ni rare so imagine what that would take even for artists who 
are getting famous and popular now and those who are coming after them tumongelea so tusul mara nyingi pia kwa hizi sessions in terms of kusema how they have structures that work for them and you need involve pia teams kuna time tuko naongelea teams na marketing music hizo ni vitu that they have on lock so if you are targeting to be famous na kujulikana na raia and the mass audience kuna vitu lazima utafikiria lazima uta take into consideration ukumbuke tho wa Kenya wenye una deal na wao importantly wa Kenya wenye una deal na wao and speaking of this someone that i think about whom i was spoken of this week ni Iani i saw a kwa project ya Nadia Mukami EP yake bundle of joy ni that and i constantly say i might not listen to your music i might hate your music but umefika a level ya career yako you making money from it you are succeeding from it and you are doing what you wanted to do for yourself well and good for you so babu ako hapa na babu amesikia yani for years amemona ki perform kwa shows kwa festivals and maybe if you're watching this you also the same you knew e ian msani before iani na umeona performances zake umesikia his songs before iani the thing ni kuna that sort of state an artist gets into before a hit ama a point where i wanna feel it's make or break and they make that move and it works for them and you can't hold anything against them systems and structures there were systems and structures that took onazo has he allow everyone to exist and succeed at the same time one thing apart from kujua how kenyans ama ku state na kukumbuka how kenyans treat creatives ni ku remember na kujisitizia art is not a basic need so you don't really matter people can do without it and what makes it worse <laughs> systems and structures nationally politically economically has he allow the general populace to consume art in a way that will allow everyone to succeed and exist not only preoccupied na vile utatafuta food na vile utalipa rent vile utalipa maji easy see vitu zina ku concern consistently so with that being said in amanisha unaweza explore other aspects of you being a human being other aspects of existence outside of kuji preoccupy na kutafuta basic we are back yes we are i do not know what that was So when you explore other aspects of your humanity your being existence kuna so much that you are deprived of knowing if your government if your system what when you mandate what take care of you when we are in a situation whereby you constantly have to think about basic needs 
so if that is the preoccupation mtafte food ya toi mtafte school fees and msort their their education mlipe all of these taxes and how feel ama how woni the reason for doing so ina kwa ngumu sana ku consider other things so ni so easy kukuona the kind of comments that tumeona na kukuona the realities that we are having what i mean by the latter statement ni kukuona people whose experience of art ni very tiny ju how to explore outside of what they get again through state owned media platforms this state owned media platforms and media houses shape opinions and they shape how people think this is outside of art though but looking at things generally and how they influence opinions and how they influence thought and whatever thoughts what wana intake utaiona iki spread out kwa different spheres of life but in your reminder that we are not in a position ya ku experience art as much as we would like na nikisema we ni as much as artists would like people to experience art wajue kuna so many artists kuna an alternative to what is mainstream to what is popular we would love that to be the reality lakini art music ni very niche very niche kwa hii country and iko tied to the economics it also tied to the politics and the history of how this country imekuwa ikitreat arts for the longest time possible way before they call them sanctions or sanctions are more towards creatives kenyata did the same thing is in vitu zimekuwa there ukiangalia okay, how the subjects the arts zimekuwa treated in the school systems and curriculums ni evidence ni evident that that's how then the people to wanna view kuna idea ya separation ni people view themselves also differently from artists artists also view themselves differently from the people so easy divisions are not even helping the situation further kuna a way you view and portray yourself as a creative and kuna a way ule msemo nyo si creative ana ku view and then inakuanga ni kama hizi ni opposing forces and when you have the two merging then utapata perhaps kuna a sort of marketing or dissemination or education that the act amefanya ndo afikie huyu mse mwenye ni audience yake or on the audience's part kuna hiyo self education na yeye kwenda outside of confines zake na kile anajua kutafuta other acts na kutafuta art na kutafuta wasanii and creatives and then they meet somewhere so kuna those aspects but to do a see a necessity na ni kitu watu wanaweza issue without that's a huge take away for me na kuanga reminder najua kile anafanya si necessity and siku kuwa surprised kuna watu wa Kenya walikuwa wanasema i expect those views from K- i i expect anything from human beings it will still surprise you kuisoma kuiona ju unaweza expect yes but the impact ya wewe kui experience will still be there and will still be different from where you could think that you can anticipate it enough that was um, that is usually the case so fame popularity dealing with the masses itakuja na hizo vitu zote so nilikuwa naongelea yani nikisema that e point yenye yuko amekuwa a fan favorite na ukiwa in public spaces utasikia ngoma zake zikichezwa 
two, three years ago, that would not, would not have been the case. Say, I kona club bangers, I kona hit songs, zina chezwa. I'll just say what I also said to someone this week. I hope he's making his money as much as he can. You need to be smart about this. Just go 2022. Think about 10 years from now. And I'd like to ask you the question. The artists when you are popular now, out of all of those that you can think about as we are having this conversation, as I'm asking this question, Name whoever you think will still be around and as popular and still on top of their game a decade from now. So, G transfer at 2032. And then, if you are popular, then picture 2032. And out of any possible artist, I'm a pop in the Ako. Whom do you think about that popularity 10 years from now? Ha, Romi, 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 I'm a cool jack somewhere. I catch an ear, nice. Fuck, wanna Romi, man. So nilikuwa na sama comment ya babu akisema hiyo altercation showed us how Kenyans view creatives we are just here to spice their lives up and not as autonomous beings with the right to choose how we want to engage or be engaged DMB alisema Kenyans generally lack respect towards artists especially their own the consumer is very ignorant history of their what to do with their own now to go to penda their own is also another talking point and has been for very many years sana sana upande wa concerts now to kutoka nje kuja kulipoa mamita flani alafu wasani wa hapa wanapata less than ama wataipata hiyo amount ya foreign acts zile wanapata so hiyo ni Another thing to look into, I saw that as part of the discussions going around after Shin City by Nyashinsky last month, that I'm on a show, so as a corner show, Pekeako, still be a top-notch act and deliver. Babu Alisama Iyani has been bay a while. I don't know if we still are. So... So Romeo Likujak my music is very niche piano. It's very, 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 very niche. Very, very niche. And now we get into different art forms. We can get into subgenres. It gets <laughs> it gets narrower and narrower and narrower. So for example, Neza Piana Mfano wa spoken word such a niche thing sana 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 in as much as to to an extent it may cross over to the mainstream level due to the likes of and especially teardrops when a churchill show churchill live for a number of years a few years ago really kwana impact then kulikuwa na kina voboy kulikuwa na mumbi kulikuwa na kapedo there is a way in which wali peleka to a national level a national platform the way people wali perceive in as a quite different and kushua ta our jui that ni spoken word ju vile ime placewa kwa hiyo platform vile wame present wali i package na humor na jokes so in a full and a bracket here comedy 
So and kushua kuna watu wajui hiyo ni spoken word. But walipeleka to that level. But regardless of that, ni kitu niche sana. You can apply that or think about spoken word of kithia music. How unaza choose kuenda events za spoken word na za music. Let's say in a month when the event after another event after another and trust me uta meet the same people so the audience too ndo nilikuwa nasema inaweza kuwa an audience ili patana na msanii mahali ya msanii ali reach audience yake kwa njia fulani but ni narrow na ni very niche that haija end outside to a mass audience to that level whereby at a many people can exist at the same time na art iko sustainable to them ju wasani wanapiga near the same audience something that musema inaweza kuwa catered for and dealt with when people think about niche marketing sikwangi fan wa the masses sikwangi fan wa eh, the mass audience and your approach to marketing but what this thing being niche does ni it puts us kwa your space where kababo na mimi tuko na show on the same day <laughs> tabaki tume <laughs> tumegawanya hiyo audience mara mbili <laughs> so to dc romi kwa hiyo sababu itabaki tumegawanya mara tatu <laughs> to adc dmb kwa hiyo hesabu itakuwa ngori so you you have that going on which inanikumbusha kuna time nilikuwa na cheki in hip hop circles na watando when rumble some music is very niche ilikuwa ni same rap and hip hop is very very niche which ni intriguing you hip hop for very many years has been the most impactful and popular culture beyond being a genre hip hop has ruled for very many years but it's still such a niche thing it's intriguing ku fikiria but rap na hip hop <laughs> yeah ni 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 more niche especially musically in this country uzuri ni kuna the likes of kuna the likes of of kali the likes of nyash kuna kardinali i'm sure they are breaking his boundaries kuna brooklyn boys and the many other acts who nyana fanya drill pia kumekuwa na genge tu ni rap lakini ni no anasema ni intriguing how it's popular very popular lakini very niche at the same time so the the idea that nilikuwa na niki kwa discussed in hip hop circles was what were come up na one calendar for Kenyan hip hop so that if i have an event on 22nd may 2022 by the time mwaka inaanza babu anajua na asipange an event on the same day dmb anajua romi anajua ndio tuko na calendar za each other for the entire year tuone one ka event yako lini one ka event yako lini so ilikuwa idea in discussion but ina explain kile nilikuwa nasema ya hip hop kwa such a niche art form genre and to your point where unahitaji watu wajue wa event yako ni lini yangu ni date yako ni date ndio team si split the audience
Pero mimi ni mjinga sana. DMB alisema umetaja Nadia sana. I've not been her fan since I pull stunt flying on social media claiming on Alex J. Cole. I prefer Nandi and I used to confuse the two for a while. Ah, ni monera uka kwa hapa. Roka ni fan wa Nadia mbaya. Roka ni fan wa Nadia mbaya. Kafura ni aje man. I see you. Leo Kafura ametokea. Kafura Kafura na ajaongea. Ajaambia bila alikuwa mwamis. Kafura. Una una sneak in to aje hivi na mtu wa tumewa hata bana. Bu behave. Tell 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 the family where you've been. ambia familia kule umekuwa sasa DMB Nadia kusema ana DJ Cole ndio unachakuwa fan wake eh kitu simple kaiyo kitu simple kaiyo hii ni showbiz inafanya wache kuwa fan wake uliacha kuwa fan wake tukisema kuna ngoma na Gasalcina eh 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 on art na necessity babo alisema it is a necessity that no one views as one until it is taken away oh ni 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 moja swali 10 years from now 2032 kenyan artists wenye wako popular sai whom do you think will still be on top of the game ama on top of their game ama Asmangati ni on top of the name ka Kilimanjaro. Rumi what's that ba? Top of the game ka Kilimanjaro. I mean, who says that? I'm saying stop killing Manjaro. Nani asmanga hivyo? Game ka Kilimanjaro. I stop killing Manjaro. Ni kitu sua? Possibly kitu sua. <laughs> Niambie wasanii unatakuwa popular still in 10 years to come. Secure the bag with your eyes wide open. That is Babu saying so. Kenyan artists or just any artist, Kenyan artists. When nafikiria ni maybe wa cardinali, I believe one is evolve with time. Mm. DMB indulge the family explain what una manisha by evolve expound on that see explain expound on that which ku expound pia nikatu ku explain semantics jombi hapo ku hapo kwa ku evolve evil love evil love <laughs> uh Babu anasema at Afri Cities which was held in Kisumu they told the artists in Kisumu to audition and even the ones who did were to just be given platform Wasanini <laughs> entertainment Ah also another 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 thing ya kufikiria kwa historia ya, ya sana na getting the bug babo tunajua msimamo wake rather mimi najua msimamo wake tumei discuss before irauka pia najua <laughs> irauka is always about the bug so yeye pia ni kana jua kunyanelekea romi 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 dmb i feel tumei discuss this stuff na irauka pia eh we actually did Actually did nimekumbuka tulifanya live tukifanya our recap Nime, nimekumbuka nimekumbuka but DMB DMB na Romeo kukua one DMB na Romi would you perform at a politicians rally or campaign 
and two for how much and these are so many questions on is as how we just leave have an answer type it kwa comment section ya kwanza ni kuhusu wasanii wanatakuwa popular in the next 10 years the angel mese mwa cardinal ni mwana iroka pia ametupatia answer yake the other one ni wasanii akamu kama uta kama unaweza perform for a politicians yani rally campaign event na hela ngapi babo na irauka shabi conversation na Rumi anza matantumia invoice. <laughs> ya yeah, eh. Ya yeah, tajingwe. Na nyo fanya zote zo sub genres. I think this was on 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 nini. On art and and the sub genres. Babo na sema sometimes people go against each other to just prove a point. Being being contrarian is a thing nowadays. It has been for a while. Ya uka ndo wansa yake ni kona sema li sema baba yao calligraph jones day father. Damn, 10 years in a decade. So, so far, so far amikuwa at the top na za sema since 2015. Ju 2012-13 alikuwa na we be happening, alikuwa na F. Fuck, fuck off. Kudis watu wa room 16. And then kulikuwa na biashara, the remix. So ilikuwa steady flow. Then now we got to ile embesha enye oktuali mshu ilikuwa adbatia safari kon. <laughs> Akijad booked after endorsement. Then now the the Yegos, the Mazishis around 2015 apo. And now we look at oh the dominant rapper in Kenya, and up to now, even seven years in, ten more years means seventeen, close to twenty. Mm. With with rap, as Andre Three K tells us, rap is a young man's sport. Hmm. Rap as a young person's sport, hip and hope. You have to be hip <laughs> to hope. Because uh, Wakadinali are dominating. What when you want to drill, want to get their fair share. And I'm sure in the next five years, we talk on other groups and individuals. When you want to climb for the father, 10 years, Sijui. But 10 years, singing Vile, but Piani Kibao. Because if you go 10 years back, ni 2012, you are a F off. That goes to, that is that era, that time. Interesting. And if you go back 10 years, 2012, the previous year, King Kaka. I'll come and drop Swahili Shakespeare. <laughs> Two years prior, I'll come and hit Nam Tuivi Ivi, na Jam Nakam. We cannot say King Kaka is at the top now. He He's still, still an impactful hip hop artist. I can all the endorsements. Nyingi sana. He's still King Kaka. Lakini he is not causing ripples and have funny video that make the industry speak and talk. 2012, Adesia. So you see, Ata keep your streak for a decade where as we are going to South Soul earlier and our being the only ones who've they've they've kept it going. Because what did South Soul sing in 2012? No Nishike was 2014. Blue uniform, still the one, 2011. They've done their thing. They have done their thing for free. <laughs> anyway. Iroka mesema bado atakuwa na bang. Yoni ku kongelea 
calligraph. Dimbini kuna jitetea kusema jai kwa fano oktober na misu za tungo mazaki ya za case study Oh ndo wani kwa nana baba na uliza What do you mean case study? So DMB uko na a lot of questions to answer I hope you're answering them here I really hope you're answering them Nibu answer ya usha answer ya case study Ya indela ku answer soli ya campaign Na wana nani ya me Romi ya mejibu jokingly Because Romi is never serious kuna hiyo expound on yes alafu eh jibu story ya campaign DMB na jibu story ya ku expound on wa cardinali evolving ah uh, we've been ah uh, Romeo nasema we've been doing the calendar thing within the echo chamber roster never thought of it as a hip hop events thing yeah idea ni bamba mbaya it 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 has it has si idea yangu si idea yangu I am as far as the entire industry I am not for the idea <laughs> I I feel people can create audiences what was he feel like on a small audience that we need to subdivide into 20 fractions and kila mtu apate this same audience hiyo pia ni another challenge to us when we say we are having our events still it means you need to do the work now to after an audience that will come for your shows usitegemee this one audience that comes for every other show ina maanisha basi ya to grow same same people same events same shows challenge challenge ourselves to after audiences to build for for kama ni a label situation it's different you nini ni wasani wa label moja muzi kuwa na mimi niko na launch leo wewe pia uko na launch leo unless ni a combined thing tunafanya but different events different places high make sense na nini fans wa a label unless the label mnapanga such a, a double launch ama mnapanga a festival where all of you are performing ni understandable for a label roster definitely but an entire scene to come up na one can k hip hop calendar na feel in a squeeze the space while the space in as a expand na it to challenge to come up na ideas that could build audiences na could pull audiences that's how i feel mm you know kana sama jumadi in 2032 atakuwa banging mm. then babo nasema i agree with jumadi aching to they will be the it now to irauka na babo niko na swali out of because akunanga kitu new so kuna they say ah, the, yes, the term ni archetypes let's use the concept here archetypes for the kenyan industry let's not do 10 years alone to fanye the contemporary kenyan music industry since the early 2000s or rather since the 90s using the idea of archetypes for the female musicians who've conquered and been popular at different times from the 90s hadisai do we have archetypes kama jumadi na aching i'd like to know that romia ni sama you don't need to perform kwa rally ntangoja bridge copyright alafu the bag <laughs> Iroka na green na babu kusu aching. Then DMB li jibu story ya case study. Case study as in I've never understood why his fans consider him one of the best one of the best rappers ever. So every time he drops something I try to listen and analyze what it is his fans are crazy about. 
Hey DMB, we had the convo a few years back. Ni kwa mbia good for you. Keep going. Ah, ira uka alisikiza kutopizo last year. Ira uka aneza kupati ya ke study pia. Una juja ski album na kushuko DMB. <coughs> Money lava. The bag. Ah, yeah. Babu anasema, I don't think Okadinali can ever evolve. Ah, yeah. DMB uka na kazi ya ku explain hapo. From what I think evolution looks like, I don't think they can. They can just get more popular. Mm, so maybe they'll still be peaking. Then, evolve Z. I can definitely see that. Peaking, yes. I, I, I also see that happening for their career. I see them peaking. When I, when I when I get when I get I am in awe of their career you have a change chochote and I love that about it <laughs> I love that about it and I think now DMB we should do a case study now <laughs> and to find some research regarding this when I'm talking about studies, Abba, na tuangalie different careers. Always, ku break into the Kenyan music industry, you have to change. You just talked about Iani, formerly Ian Msani, literally. We've mentioned calligraph. Tunezongelea kinkaka, tunezongelea okto. Kasi content. Content for King Kaka, but also sound. Calligraph, sound. Okto kuna aspect ya sound. Watu wagiu, oh he was alikuanga mkali once. Not really. Alikuwa na effort in the writing. Na hawa alikuwa na structure writing yake. Kulikuwa na an effort behind it. At some point, ikacha kukua. Kanza you know, getting into, you know, popular sounds especially era ya trap so king kaka did the same calligraph changing the sound with you rap about hakuna difference na what he was rapping about so for content i don't only consider king kaka a vitu alikuwa anaandika about predominantly looking at his mixtapes na album zake za kwanza and those kind of stories i may try to bring out kaka sungura kwa his recent works kuna we've talked about here before Mr. Rillionaire nikiwa na K9 so such songs kujaribu ku tap into ukaka sungura na the storytelling na ushairi katika uandishi wake na sana yake lakini a majority of the songs ili have kubadilika kuna time liko tunaongelea ngoma za kubamba hapa nikapeana the kiss that is dundai his biggest song of his career. <laughs> it has taken this man a lot of songs. He drops a lot of songs. Si ongelea calligraph kutoa mangoma every other month. Catalog ya King Kaka ni crazy. Sana. So, ime mchukua all of those songs adi a few years back kupata a hit song and his biggest song, the biggest song of his career. A party song. <laughs> Romel Konasema was caught in the crossfire that day. The calendar convo came up. Ah, kulikuwa na battle na launch ya EP ya kaharibu na mna. Ah, yes, yes, for sure. This is sometime last year. Dimbio na semo kajinali ni my case study ni kuangalia parts za getting into the industry na yu kubadilisha sound with kina king kaka. Then wa kardinali. Mm-hmm. Wamekua tu wa kardinali. Now, wame... Atu... This is... This is... 
it's hardcore rap hardcore rap in Kenya getting a million views i i, I upload them and ni amazing kuona naweza kuona concerns na, na na the art and the writing the albums but just your feet for me achieve doing what they do unprecedented so I could not a few rappers when you're mainstream but still wanna focus on actually rapping despite how could get off track once in a while DMB unasikia wakadinali wa gani which is normal <laughs> despite hip hop change over the years na feel rappers who actually rap will always matter and that's where wakadinali come in mm. rappers who always rap umesikia Romi <laughs> Rappers matter. Rappers who rap matter. Print that on a t-shirt. Ah, 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 ah. Babu, Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. This is our case study. A channel Tracy Chapman. A channel Lauren Hill. <laughs> Kenyan archetypes. Ndio kana sema archetypes na na ngori from from my end na cheki from the unique sound na filter ngia an era where there will also be more space for their music also they sing very beautifully and are performers i agree with everything you said apart from the unique sound the era of yeah we are in an era of unique sound and what's interesting me we have been kwa your era since at the time ilikuwa such a sense of feeling kai ime, ime, ime come down what wako maybe ni obviously na ongea from my perspective yo interest ya new sounds si feel kai ko sai as much as new nairobi 2016 na feel yo time ilikuwa something is happening or 2008 to 9 just a band wawesh na mdq that era na feel exploration then and then after just a band na uko na ea wave uko na kina kina jinku and kina sichang and kina nufang doing kina ukweli and is it here by doing things with sound na era ya kenyan music on soundcloud na feel kulikuwa na an interest in newer sounds mid 2010s as compared to now sijui even do even do na feel na feel but what were constrained bado na tumongelea earlier how Kenyans view and treat creatives yonja ya other sounds i do say it from a few music enthusiasts playlist curators bloggers for sizi ongelea sana but still ikiangalia vitu zile the mass audience wana gravitate towards na how wana perceive music na sound siko sure if it's as immense as i'd go a few years back but yes juma you know seeing seeing very well <laughs> beautifully na pia ni performers every time you watch jumadi na aching on stage that's a statement performance from them they have honed their craft to that level ni undeniable whenever wako on stage it's so beautiful to watch na my master craft yao ero kama sama i see nothing but stars baba baba na sama jumadi and masimaira could review notes
Masi had Tiedero, Tiedero. Alikuwa na some cousin review debut album yake and ali <laughs> ali watch the snippet on Instagram aka comment ilikuwa beautiful sana by as an as far as an archetype i can definitely see that yo jumadi and masi i'd even say and i want to see them collaborate i'd say jumadi and nina after interestingly listening to their two albums back to back the two projects last year for mwe jinlisikiza nina dala kisha nikasikiza jumadi edeyo i'd love to see what they'd come up with or he collaborate such collabs are rare though izo collabs za za singers <laughs> zinakuanga <laughs> rare but point yangu ni siko sure just grow up in that time but sijui if we can say Masi was a national sensation to that level where the whole country but as far as archetypes definitely <laughs> Romi shida eh what has KLM done ona babu bwana ni mulika bwana ah 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 ya dera ya sti ya dera kwani ni kwani ongelea nini eh ndio mimi za bonus si mention KLM and then iroka pia oh oh Eh hey, iroka muulize bona ya si mention bona mini mention bona ya si mention acha ufala <laughs> okay, then I have done well from Babu. <laughs> Kaba ka mini call out in cups. Kisema I am still catching up on the Kenyan scene. I'm just two months into this citizenship. Yawa. Eh, ni saa Babu. Pole. Who is an Tracy Chapman na Lauren Hill? Then on voice manipulation and pushing a chain could easily be the best vocalist we've seen in a long as while. Ha ha ha. Odabu fikrieni fikrieni vocalist hapo na mseme kama mtakon kana baba ama kama mta nini. Eddie Crafter was here. Shukran sana. Alikuwa pati kiongelea Mr. Moral. Ah, Monrea, yeah, yeah, Monrea. No, Monrea has been here before. Alafu yeye huko jana mweka on the spot. Monrea has been here before, I'm pass by. Shukran for being here, Monrea. So, tunafikiria kuhusu vocalist. Babu anasema on voice manipulation and pushing. A chain could easily be the best vocalist we've seen in a long ass while. Agreed or disagreed? Wondra karibu sana, karibu sana. Good to see thee here. Ah, alafu mshape wa threat na na babu 
Mkasma ya tiedera ya in terms of how they approach music Then akasma yes nina too So babu wa masema If anyone denies that I am mass reporting your Instagram account So my people Come to ka To be reported Go for it Meza disagree na babu <laughs> As we we see which Kenyan musicians will be popular in the next 10 years. The reason pia nilikuwa nauliza kuhusu studio popularity na archetypes regarding Jumadi na Aching again music one music ni niche but also the sounds the popular sounds of uh, what's the word of a shadow other genres in this country if to at a mass level so ukiangalia kwa sani when you kuwa popular kuna for hip hop ni trap ju akuna experimental hip hop sounds that have been foregrounded kwa the mainstream level okto amejaribu ni ajira uka mtu wa okto <laughs> na nadia <laughs> sounds tofauti benga and african rhythms kwa jungle fever na kwa fuego Oni jungle fever peke yake wira uka confirm but hiyo si kitu popular popularity ya yake kali kaka ni trap centric nyash ni a bit different <laughs> nyash will explore sounds and rhythms also kitu ngia nyash ametumia ni love ballads relatability people love those songs ngoma za mapenzi people love those songs you need to have those if you want to be popular if that's part of your idea <laughs> lakini ngojeni tuko mei tunaingia june ngojeni tuingie july hapo kwanza kupata political messages from popular musicians vote wisely vote wisely your vote matters and the like then kuna gengeton which iterates genge na kapuka popular sounds easy to consume easy to relate to easy to hear then kuna afro pop or this bongo pop uku isn't the sounds who make what were popular in this country unfortunately it's very niche very small very tiny but it's very popular the sound ni very narrow lakini isn't what were popular via so upande wa kama ni archetypes if you think of cuz even which popular kenyan singers can you name who are very very popular nationally how many can you name
Dembi is I used to love what Sage used to do with her vocals. It's been a while though. So DMB to Jika when you Kenya when you look on Ale when you who put music through <laughs> national media platforms. Sage Ali drop an EP in twenty twenty called Jungle Trap. Na Joju. Also I think last year I look on Angoma na Marking Lay or Nairobi Hon's project. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Mondrea, mon, uh, hey. popular, popular, popular female musicians. From let's go from all the way back to the nineties. I decide. Nilisha wata Gianadia mnye DMB apendi yani mo because Ali Danganya that that an adet J Cole. Showbiz, showbiz. Mondrea says I missed Della, another powerhouse. With two albums in. Pakawa na Public Demand. Public Demand released in 2019 at The Alchemist, I think. Also, Delali kwa featured kwa Further Studies by Fancy Fingers. Yeah, yeah, only DMB I'm counter kile babu alisema so <laughs> on on kalamoto KLM Romeo anasema kalamoto and the longevity flani I'm sure tangu ku hold hip hop take it take and the Af- the african mugs he used to help research for in the music pay me in direction over the years there I may say two two albums in over a long career just dropped his sophomore project leso ya mekati lili i think was it last week and then kulikuwa na kesi in 2019 july akini romi the question was popularity He's nowhere close to being popular. Unona direction mtuka breeder michukua. Gengeton trap. Trap then gengeton cause kabla kuosa ilikuwa trap. Iyo ni LP yake ya 2018. Debut LP yake. Na Good. Good for him. Good for him. Ime, ime work. I'm a particular success I like to rap about amazing. So kabla kuosa trap then kuna drill beats now in these latter years za career yake. Then kuna bazenga mentality ya last year alikuwa na a number of sounds na wengi wanayo growth to review bazenga mentality feel free to check it out if you're interested and working na wasani wa gengeton kwa singles zake ama eh, kwa 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 collab zake na pia kwa singles zake kwa na gengeton and that popular sound ime push over na ame cross over ngoma na kina na mtuka major doing the numbers hiyo level ya popularity ndio tunasema and now being there for a number of years and then Kalamoto is a boom bap type of artist that is so hard to do and make that popular so hard to do Remember Sama the only way is up for KLM let's see what his album does Romi Alisama Konyo alisikiza playlist ngatia alishare ni accurate kusema kuna great Kenyan acts wenye si so popular ama ni niche kind of artist the likes of Zinia, Airosh, Flyer, Favorite Uyu wanaweza definitely 
and a lot of people make playlists na unaweza discover wasani wengi sana so mtuka zinia mwenye and make waves since 2018 19 19 akona an ep under her belt akona collabs nyingi sana amefanya pia bgvs for wasani kibao yeah me make a name for herself lakini si aja aja cross your near popularity again sasa for for wasani ka zinia na wasanika Karun kuna another aspect of their content and language that it our hold back ama zina hold back and then their sound their sound kuna vitu mob <laughs> kuna factors kibao that come into becoming a popular Kenyan artist nyingi sana <laughs> So hapo kuna Fozinia, Karun. I'd even say though I only more on the production side for the likes of EA Wave, no they only sound but kina Zinia na Karun au ni watu wamefanya collaborations na popular Kenyan artists. So Zinia na BGV kwa Chimano's project na BGV kwa project za Sauti Sol. Karun was kwa savage level vibration Karun ni formerly wa camp mula Karun ame perform places kibao lakini kuna ni kama a level that wako yet to break as far as now becoming popular stars in the country which takes us back to the things the sounds the topics that what to gravitate to and what people love hearing and if you want to become a mass audience kind of artist ni vitu you have to put into consideration but yes for playlist utapata wasanii wenye sio popular but they're doing their thing na wanaifanya vizuri Baba is a Madela and Jumadi too that is before showbiz. Ronya na sema Sage yuko featured kwa suits and mics EP ya Jemedari. There was song called Bedroom. Yani for 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 DMB mwenye anatafutanga <laughs> anangoja anangoja the beat kusikia mziki. <laughs> Ah. ah. Mondrena sama female artist on 90s sijui. <laughs> ah, to research Wahu. Wahu was popular for sure. Sanaipe is popular. Not so popular but popular. Sage is a <laughs> powerhouse vocally. Babo says still have you had a ching shish babo ana hubiri injili ya ching wonder ana sema sana ip yes nazizi still pushing till date yes nazizi is do ana the popularity to the level ya at nazizi has dropped something it causes a conversation or it is something huge or the numbers will reflect as compared to the other artists when you tumetaja from I even forgot another person I even forgot Otile Brown so Otile Nyash Sauti Soul Calligraph Bahati Willy Paul Major Wakadinali Nadia the numbers that they pull ni crazy sana and not pia niko na sema for King Kaka yeah bado ni King Kaka lakini hana hiyo attention sai na na hizo numbers which imenikumbusha point liko ni same with Zinia collaborating na popular artist ame collaborate na King Kaka kwa mixtape yake The Servant and the King ame collaborate na Calligraph kwa test testimony kwa Invisible 
currency how we do it lakini bado nika kuna something that in a fail ku translate to them individually but also when we discussed this wasani waki collaborate na wasani wenye wako kwa hiyo safari yao na wanapanda inakuanga more for them and not for the artist you oh tumeona oh zinia is popping okay cha tumpigie and then they use them in the most basic of ways vas rap vas chorus aimba rap vas chorus rap vas it's very basic and very annoying it doesn't even have any artistic value so there is that too needs those songs need more color, more creativity na sana i pay ata uleza dabra ah ila uka go to bila uka ko bed ah ya so ah nice nice rumia me to i mean i'm as important as i'm bringing up these names you a lot can happen for this artist in a span of 10 years so zinia airosh flyer a lot can definitely happen in 10 years I am however still interested in archetypes. Ona monde na shtuka, monde na shtuka ati ati bili Paul the last time I hear that. <laughs> Hey Willy Paul, hey, 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 hey. hey Willy really Paul manze. Hey. The the now that also Babon Asayama so popularity is about numbers of people not money. Ni ni zote. Yo pia ndio approach ya companies could after influencers. The number of people will bring you money and will also bring us money supposedly so ni ni zote ni namba ya watu and what we on a pool and then through that you you bring us bring us the bag too as you get your bag so the numbers followers likes on your page subscribers views on your videos these are sorted in account streams on your album so kia ka album pale boom play unapata a meter within a week those are those are crazy numbers and i don't know asani wenye wanazipu Yeah for sure for sure for sure yeah popularity na na fame ni ni ni, ni different you can be you can be either and then you can also be both so i completely get kile on the last time i had that name yeah suzana huyo ni archetype definitely ah rick sal kuja hapa after kuliza maswali ah shanganga mna si kuja live hizo ma time hmm Bwana uti ni aje bwana. Ni bwende ulale. <laughs> Rumi anasema kuna Steph Kapela. Rumi amekuwa fan of Steph Kapela for a while. Sijaelewa nini nam hold back and then kuna Okello Max ana mvuto fulani. So Archetypes, right? There's a there's, there's a term for for this in in political science that has to do with with symbols so what i mean is in in france after the french revolution in 1794 when wali overthrew king louis the 16th after that transition is it after nani came nani came 
was it immediately after cause 1800s nani napoleon bonaparte mwenye rappers and whoever many people refer to and aka take the lead aka annex countries hapa na pale alikuwa hata hapa Egypt and then after some time kwa kuwa na story za exile na watu kutomtaka na yeye kudai so this is the 19th century and then you have a Karl Marx who is studying politics za country yake and politics za France then in those 18 whatever 1800s and observe the political system and ana andika thoughts zake kuhusu the political system and part of this is an expectation and a vision ya the revolution na the workers the proletariat uniting but also revolting and so as this is happening this is where your statement ya Karl Marx comes in kama ushaisikia ya the revolution iko stuck in purgatory na alisema ama iko stuck in purgatory juu ilikuwa inafaa kukuja ilikuwa ni kama inakuja lakini haikufika haikufanyika na ikufanyika kwa nini juu for some peculiar reason the ruling class the elite waliaza ku convince the poor that wako on their side sana sana actually the yes the working class the working class asana the poor kuna hiyo working class somewhere there walikuwa convinced that ni kama wako upande moja and so wakukuwa na hiyo feeling na urge na need ya kupigana na ku revolt na kubadilisha vitu and this is a conclusion that Karl Marx and make do the people went back to I think he likuwa nephew ama someone related to Napoleon another Napoleon So it's nime saw the name of the phenomena but it's about symbols and the first Napoleon and the name and what that symbol means kwa mind ya watu And years later that sort of symbology playing a role in how the people feel and who they choose as their leader and who they side with ndio wasipigane ndio wasi revolt ndio Karl Marx aseme revolution iko stuck in purgatory and it never got there to bring it back home ni in 2027 do not be surprised if we have Gideon Moy as our president there is an attachment to the name to the genealogy to the symbol that is moy who was the second president of this country and so when that moment comes in the next 5 years there's something it triggers for the psychology and people in people and how they feel in the emotions what are produced that will make them vote and side with moi gideon moi another moi once again there's a thing that it does then in the next 20 years 15 20 if another kenyatta wants to run for the presidency the same thing will happen nime so how the exact name but that is exactly the thing my point nime na kwa political discourse tangent ni Sauti Sol walianzisha Rumba Trap. Extravaganza wa launch the entire soul generation. Walikipio sound kwa midnight train. Wame explore father kuna rumba Japani na kina Zinia na kina Okelo Max. Here tukiongelea archetypes na symbols. The idea ni rumba. And the nostalgia that it has the cultural feelings that it stirs in listeners and tapping into that with the new generation as well as the older generation that's where the likes of kina 
Ben Soul come in when they have such songs. That's where Sauti Soul wanna come in when they have such songs. That's where Rumba Toto, your fancy fingers, in a come in. That's where Okello Max and come in. <laughs> Familiarity. It helps a lot. Sana, sana, sana. So it's something to think about. Nikiongelea pia archetypes. That's why niko pia na bring up something else ya kuponda. When tunangalia the direction of the Kenyan music industry that acts when you want to become popular and what they have. Nilisema, gengeton. Gengeton ni iteration ama a derivative genre ya genge na kapuka. That same symbol idea that ni share, that same familiarity that ni share, and your watu walikuwa na skiza. Ukisikiza ethic, ukisikiza uchunglo, and bundoks gang kwa video unaona madem wana twerk, alafu unasikia heavy shell that hata understand. So to an older generation, in the same way wali receive kina no nini, na kina flex, au tu iwa na imba nini. Yatasimziki. That's the same attitude. You know the same reception. Lakini yo sheng inongena a generation yenye niyo and yo generation na kuna yo age group in a skiza yo sheng. Now I'm tap into genge a sound that was popular in early two thousands. Katasi of Caliph Clemo Nonini Juakali Kina Flex na wali build yo sound sana. So, una tap into genge na kapuka, una fuse dancehall na ragaton. And then, iyo ina attract their generation. But also, watu wenye walipenda iyo music in the early 2000s, who are maybe at a 10 years plus older than our ethics na uchunglos na the bundoks gangs. Tapping into that nostalgia and liking this music. And vibing to this music. Whether or not one understand. The mystery is another part of it. The sheng. Yenye huwelewi. Wakadinali inawasaidia pia. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. For Steph Capella, I would say, ni a question of relatability and sound. I think I could be very wrong. <laughs> uh, Ricks ni mjinga eh? Ni masangu kwa ni kapiza tabia mba eh? Ni mande lafu wata ishaya Asubuya asumbu watu mtandaoni Oh no for sure for sure Ni Yes definitely Ju red akafelas Formally red akapela Then waka kwa red akafelas Walitoa wali wali swag na kathalika E walitoa swag na kathalika na au ata actually hata ungea na shows zao unge pata waki waki play it was their sound but like, popularity is out so when you in that position <laughs> wakai fanya something really huge and then I would also say ju wali wali sample wali sample ingi tabu ile ngoma yao na 1 to 5 tabu ting Hey, hey. Maisha tabu yo 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 walifanya and ilikuwa it, it was it was a hit now for them 
the album ilikuwa na hiyo sound but prior to that ilikuwa more kwa performances as you'd hear red na capella na ungeenda show za ungepata ungepata rumba sana sana rumba is a huge part of kile wanafanya then wakakuwa na that album swag na kadhalika 2019 ama 18 before or part ways and then monyami carry forth ni yaba I can say yaba ni rumba ken rumba ken ni rumba trap na benga but definitely Jumondrai kuna sema rumba trap ni dada kafela zoli initiate they had an album with that vibe before akina sound to soul with extravaganza they were in a position to popularize it more Mondrel is here. So I say my uh, uh, my phone is about to go off. It's about that time. It's about that time. <laughs> It's about that time. It's about time to sleep, children. kizima angalau nishawambia kile ita happen so tamsin laumu ata kidogo don't blame me ah <laughs> uh, rumi pia naenda So Monreal come so much and he had out this was this was informative keep on good points on familiarity nostalgia mystery thanks and then babu and i'm more kuchocha and i say what so now no degrees <laughs> what that degree is for <laughs> application <laughs> application uh <laughs> Oh my oh my So tuli tuli shia tukaenda tukaenda Nilikuwa naambia kwenye nilikuwa alafu tukaanza kuongelea Kenya na audiences. Na story ya sauti soul. Rumi akisema atangoja tu wa infringe on rights zake la forget the bug. Hata perform. DMB kutuambia bei yako ni gani? Penye tunakutia gig na ujui. We call you for a show. Pesa ngapi? Pesa ngapi? Rumi na sema hata nisikize mix down only time inayo ya ku enjoy kujisikiza before everyone. <laughs> Sawa so, man, we won't hold you any longer. Thank you. Rumi, kaka Rumi, shukran sana. Kwa kuchangia haya mazungumzo. So before tuanze ku this wa Kenya na the Kenyan audience na tuongelee <laughs> nostalgia now that plays a part na familiarity as we wrap this up we cap for almost two hours he was organization walikuwa na shukran romi walikuwa na launch on wednesday at baraza media lab riverside and we're going to launch three books in as a host of the creative community in East Africa so ili kuwa na a panel discussion ya professor and a doctor wakiongelea the 
creative see in the creative community sana sana kikuja kwa upande wa research na hindrances zile wanazo kwa research so this is from collecting data to analyzing and sharing kila wamepata after ku collect data na ku disseminate information which is something again that is always a problem not only for art lakini pia ikikuja kwa maswala ya jamii maswala ya ukombozi tumongelea Karl Marx na kuambia workers will unite lakini hizi ideas za revolution ideas za change ideas za evolution ile distance inakuanga ile disconnect near information the country and wale watu nyaliongelea ali ya wenye hawana income ya ku consume art kwao ni something else that just exists and they cannot spend on it wale watu wenye wana receive art from national media platforms and even the experience of the same wanajua only popular acts kuna a disconnect between ile information watu wenye huwa wanasitia change na wana agitate for development and the growth of the welfare of the people info wako nayo na info yenye the rest wenye hawana information their state as is so that disconnect inafanyanga watu wasi understand e clama ya change ni ya nini and then kuna lot of ignorance tumongelea ignorance pia a lot of it regarding vitu vingi sana nilitaja last week while tukiongelea anti diaries ya Kendrick Lamar so kuna too much that watu hawajui for a number of reasons so you could appear kwa field the creative scene na research it's another thing how to disseminate information me collect kitu me the reports that me find and how to get that to the people who need it so i do not know how many people will ever own a copy of easy books ni konazo that's and you look up a part of the conversation that we got to have which reminds me how very many not many okay maybe maybe four or five years back it got to a point nilichoka na hizi conversations za za gute hizi conversations za lion hizi conversations za KNT za power to at some point nika tu sasa tunakuja hapa ku kuambia na vitu tunajua na kuoneshana na najua nini so ina inafika point where una feel ni kama hakuna the next step hakuna progress ni conversations after conversations after conversations and una feel ni kind regurgitative so that happened to me a few years back and also couple na the fact that na realize how shitty <laughs> of a country this is and how shitty humanity is and i realize oh, okay so this really isn't going anywhere but the dissemination of the information and the next step ni a critical thing to look into a part of the discussion io wednesday at baraza media lab so as i was saying siju how many people will get these copies but walisema zinapatikana mtandaoni if you are interested check out hivos so the three books that were launch one ni financial management and sustainability toolkit for creatives in east africa in 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 only skim through while i was at the event yana kana some resources some information that unaweza tumia 
humu ndani kuji sustain financially so that this is that then the other one ilikuwa the utility and viability of digital technologies in the production and distribution of critical content in East Africa in is a touch on could disseminate books kama easy how can you package it outside of e kitabu ndio watu wenye wanahitaji waipate in the easiest ways possible so sometimes unapata nga wasanii wamekuwa included kwa such events or conferences that deal with specific issues ku package the information differently obviously kuna discussion points za wasani kutumika ka entertainment na their participation how the role they play and how they play it they play it but inakwanga pia hiyo means ya kujaribu ku pass the info differently to people so this is your uh, utility na viability of digital technologies that's the other one check out hivus iwapo you want these things wale chama ziko mtandaoni kama haziko usinilize maswali si mimi nilisema <laughs> then in he in ya mwisho so it's very simple actually is kongalia forms of intellectual property rights in Kenya UGNTZ this is very simple atandani a lot of graphics and you can easily read it mm, mcsk <laughs> prisk camp we shall talk about all of those bodies next week hopefully the panga notes zangu ini ip a toolkit for creatives in kenya uganda and tanzania so if you also need these books from me you can send me to nanta share bila wasi wasi bubote So that happened on Wednesday evening nimesema kulikuwa na panel discussion wakizungumzia story ya research collecting data ku disseminate information kisha kukawa na performances babu is here <laughs> ali grace the stage the bambi is ali grace the stage what say me rebian <laughs> featuring artists featuring babo and checkmate mido while he perform i shared a snippet of my stories your evening karembo ali perform na ad saymore ras amor pale kwa guitar na vocals na jelsa on vocals too then we knew pia kafanya maswala so performances zili follow the discussion then on as we finish this saturday kulikuwa na the jam at kuona arts center kuona arts collective so the jam ni a new version ya nairobi jam sessions that used to go down at gute ilikuwa on friday it went from 6 pm i think until 9 or 10 pm so ali ibadilisha they had their first one last month and then we may have their second session this past saturday ili feature ima jumadi na umoja sounds ima has some singles out unaweza mtafuta umsikize for jumadi tumemtajata alia we reviewed i have reviewed jumadi in review for mwe last year area akona forthcoming album 
and then umoja sounds work on uh, two projects so far this year to review emotional attachment so those are the performances it's a monthly event so pale kuona feel free ku pitia check check your sani skizem ziki on a saturday evening and as i was saying earlier watching jumadi on stage is an experience and i'm a master craftier performance i could so at home like you are on stage very comfortable it seems easy to do and in a feeling kama ifanya I'm going for a while <laughs> don't get mistaken but na feeling kama ifanya for such a long time kila kitu in a fall in place she did an amazing job eh hey, pia vocal range yake hey 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 hey, hey. really really au pia no bed mko na sema tutakia tutakia wasanii fanaka wa wa grow na wa grow na wa grow na wa grow as big as they can become as big as they can be professional musicians and their work their works speak for themselves and ngal was a jam then kulikuwa na na kucheki EP launch ya Kim leo jana rather <laughs> at spring valley kwa the the sessions that una kwanga nazo huko music and minds and just sessions za ku interact sessions za ku share art ku commune na ku heal and having those interactive sessions and using music na art as the means to get people there so that happened in the afternoon of yesterday me launch ep yake after mudam refu kushughulikia and watu wa sana kwa sana atatuambia kaota review tutauliza alafu atuambie inauka kwa hapa malisha kudozi inauka kwa hapa inauka wana timu yako mtadi vio kazi ya hebu tuambie tujue so we shall we shall ask them what to their, their views to jeka na a review so that was also another show a launch i'm always curious about launches your execution art ni all about execution see hasa kile unachosema ni vile unaisema na vile una deliver same same mentality na approach that we go with to review music it's always about the approach the delivery and looking at whatever it is you wanted to say kupitia vile uli sema na ku combine form structure na content then everything else is in a meld together for the discussion na examination of our work so launches na kwanga curious for me kuona how someone is launching their project and the direction ile wanachukua na ku execute so that is something that we didn't get to at a fully we discussed it kidogo while you were coming from the show to kingia jiji could discuss your aspect ya community and having communal group activities so irauka kitambia moni yake kuhusu communal activity <laughs> You know the misanthrope. <laughs> uh, uh. But 
but ni kitu poa kuona wasanii wakiongeza other aspects za expression kwa their creativity sana ni an aspect that showcases growth which is good then kuonesha kwa execution kuna idea ya intent so being intentional about what you do how you do your show experience watu wanapata wakiingia the space unatumia experience yao as they get to the center of activity experience yao ya your art your time your music your being and how you interact with them being intentional na kila kitu one critical thing that we always talk about tukiongelea giving people and creating experiences for them muhimu sana then kuna hizo aspects za one's creativity expanded ni a plus just adding on to your skill set kuna hapo k9 kwa ameka kwa kwa percussion akigusa gusa drums siko na jo msafiri ucha za keys i only knew you play bass mona pale kwa keys kuna ai sakeche za bass pia najua yuko tu into acoustic siko surprised though that anaweza gusa gusa bass kiasi kuna kwa na hiyo intention ya kutaka ku ku grow na kufanya something else na kuongeza another thing another element to one's skills when it comes to to them kuna gugs hapo na drum pad yake on top of the percussion that was also something else so ni interesting kuona then from kim the the just your party yeah, the dancing and then kutumia music and vocalists so kuna aspects zilizo adisiwa pale tutangoja irauka na watu wao watuambie kata review the ep as babu anasema anasema k9 asked you this some good time back so what's good what's popping <laughs> babu i'm also waiting for the response from irauka and his sana kwa sana team so akituambia i shall let you know <laughs> I shall let you know. So, if you have anything else to add, tunaweza unaweza yadisia kisha tunaweza tinga hii story. na mwende mwende review zetu za hizi wiki mbili 10 reviews go watch those 10 reviews enda uone savara mwana wa mama hiyo kwanza ni one hour the first one hour review on the channel savage level uone other book zikumbuka in order hmm i think i'll mess up the order haya uone kucheza ya unganisha uone ngewa ya kasiva mmm nimeja nimeruka moja naja kuna Mr Mutinda Mulito na Kili Black Maliza Roho mmm still my forgetting Nasababisha. Sababisha. Anyway, then this past week we nilisema nikianza Heavy is the crown ya Chimano Kuna EP Yanjiru debut new funk funk to black ep 
debut ingine ya Nyokabi Karuki Peace Places Kenyan Memories then Kilumi ya Koko M Check them videos out and I always forget Bendihuru Manjano was the other one from last week so walk by walk by The other reason you can watch those reviews is just go and experience the relationship because of videos between between Iroka and Roger. <laughs> go watch them. Ignore me. Ignore me and my <laughs> long-winded submissions go to albums. <laughs> Uh So do we have do we have music to share? Ama leo pia kuna muziki ya kushare. Do we have music to share? Tupeane muziki tutoke hapa. Yo mjara, mitaftie But the person to speak to is Babu Babu ni plug, alafu tikiwa na irauka leo tumeambiwa eh, Story za kujuana in the electronic music scene Kujuana, mitaftie talking gigs no, At least I can speak some Some little sense I try to, at least From time to time I joy I'm not the smartest the most intelligent, the most knowledgeable, but from time to time, mimi hujaribu sana. So, mitaftia talking gigs, mitaftia conferences, mitaftia panel discussions. Vitu kama hizo, yonataka maishani. The bug, the bug. Kuna mziki leo, Kenyan or African? Do people have songs to to share? Do you have songs? Do you have a song? Last week I took on a playlist. <laughs> Listening to We Know this week reminded me of how much I loved him. So, Babo, uliata kupenda We Know pia? Hmm? Did you also stop, stop loving We Know? As you did, Kendrick. We knew. Ni mingine pia kwa stage. Ni so effortless. Even if what nasema at after show, tiki na checkmate. Ni. We knew na ni. We knew ni professional musician. We knew has been here for a very long time. At this point, it's surprising. But how effortless he performs is still remarkable. Ah, yeah. Ta-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
we DMB Zuri Zuri ni mesema Kenya na ma African so na bahati you are, tell us a song don't just say to skip for the goal and I don't appena for the goal tell us a song or songs for the playlist Irauka Irauka ni doza kwa live unajua kuna possibility ali fall asleep like you are live says this to ka it has happened to people here before Generally say it's been real yet again informative session kama kawa shukran mujera surprise yake ni ati rauka ni fan okta sikuwa surprised bana itauka na penda buzz and we will review yet ya ya fuego mujera go watch that review Tukitoka tu hapa hivi enda tutoka hapa hivi enda wanze na hiyo tupatie hiyo for regular suggestions alafu ishie <laughs> enda pale sana kwa sana kwa jana hiyo review jungle fever at jungle fever fuego octopizo it possibly might be let's do a let's do a youtube search together tuone kama kuna other people who have reviewed that that album let me see Octopizo. Octopizo, njina gani hiyo? Octombido, ni bangi gani hiyo? Mgeza mangoma heavy trap. Mm, na taka gani ni bana. Octopizo Fuego. Fuego album review. Ata Fuego album zip download. Sikumbuki the last time I downloaded albums. Ah, voila. Voila, voila, voila. Uh, so kuna one review or kuna outside of ours. F A I you know freaking news and reviews. Nime watch reviews zake kadha. We we can watch a review together, see you as we finish this. Tunaweza watch a review pamoja actually. Yeah, F N N R. Nime watch review zake kadha. So we we are doing that actually. It's short, it's three minutes. So yet only fourteen. The MBU Kimaliza go do the thing. So ni message up to Pizzo for go album review and the results have them boys them boys for go album review to go up man and allow thirty two views from five months ago. Them boys are metal cleanser, man. So, Sasa, let me first write these songs down. Then we can. Conclude. Hi, people, is you with me? Fere gola, fere. Fere, ay ona babo. Fere gola. So babo me se mangoma kada za winyo. Singo. BT na nakupenda ona gariteri Wewe msema nini I don't love him like I used to mapenzi ili ili fed ah then tongeze tie dero ya masi masi myra that is back in the 2000s na chokoza 
Avril na Maria. Hmm, walichokoza. Tume tume kuja. Aha aha. Oh, i playlist ni ya babu peke yake. Ah, you see kuna Mhm 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 mhm. Ah. Mhm si DMB, after you're done confirming your song titles, let us know. Tupatie ufatie mangoma hapo. Mhm. Mhm. Looking for for a Moroccan house song. I can't even recall the title. DMB tupe ngoma, DMB tupe ngoma. Tupe ngoma ya Feregola. Tupatie ngoma macha kutambia wenye voice yake go out of this world and they are part of this world. <laughs> they are part of this world but their voice is out of this world. Very, very helpless here. Ah, fuck. 
perfect. My memory may come through. Ah, perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> That's the one. Yes, it is the one. Mm. I believe in Gomona Samani a recent one, yeah, one month ago. You know, now I'm sure it's the one, yeah. Roya Mekunga, I could be pronouncing that very wrong, but you know, I'm a DMB. I'm a Ah, iko sawa. Babu ame partici- ame peana the most songs kwa hii ndio kusikiza vinyo <laughs> early in the week. Ndio naongeza Masi Myra na Avril na Maria waliokuja kuchokoza. Mine is called Minui by FNX Omar kutoka Morocco. Yeye ndio alikuwa anatafuta my memory may not serve villain ni kwa nataka na nimekumbuka so wiki jayo tutachangamkia sauti soul na hizi vitu za copyright kwa sasa tunaweza achana so tusikize tusikize review tusikize review <laughs> let's listen to a review then let's get out of here And I said, that's the one. I first heard it on a YouTube ad. Ni and money kona meter. 1.4. Hi, Abasi. <laughs> Let us sample mziki. Let us sample review. Na DMB ni mkombi wende wanya review yetu after this. Watch him chaz. Ah, kama muna jua, you do shati ya this month. So... Ah, yeah. There we go. In any F N N R pale YouTube. Nitonga Shimbatsa. Of the name. Ah kama mnajua hii ndo shati ya this month so msi complain sana mbona na shoot TV we only shoot them in bulk so hii ndo shati na stack chungu. Leo nataka 2020 kama ideas bado ziko. So this week what are we looking at? I am looking at October Fuego. Mike, hadi Mike imeanguka. Fuego. <laughs> Hadi Mike imeanguka bana. Mm-hmm. Fuego. Fuego, fuego! Ni mimi Shembeta the musician, mnanijua, mnanijua vile mimi niko hapa. And you know the last project Octopuso did, I had beef bana. Alitumia producer moja, the project was shambles. It had potential but because it felt like reading. <laughs> like I cheap talk of Kenyan reading. That that really hurt me because I know <laughs> Umsame um, it felt like reading cheap talk of Kenyan reading well, okay it took me producer moja the project was shambles it had potential but because it felt like reading like I cheap talk of Kenyan reading that that really hurt me because I know octopus I know what to expect and in fuego the guy delivered two ones in the album art the album art is amazing i like this album art for some you know this is the thing this is the thing about album art you have to look Just in case you didn't see the album art, unaweza 
and as a judge for thyself do what thou wilt that's the art hapo meiona me cheki cheki me cheki cheki ndio hapo hapo kuna reflection Yeah, me check it. Alright, we move on. I hope you ask here. Look at the artist and then you look at the project, you're like, it's one of two things. For it to be good, it has to be okay. That's something he can do. But I mean fanya vizuri in such a way that you're like, wow. Or that's something that you don't expect. And this is something I want to appreciate with Dr. Pizzo. Achezangi na album art zake. You know, that's that's let's just be honest. Album art zake is a top tier and this is an amazing piece of album art. It makes you want to listen to the project. It makes you feel like you're going to expect a low-fi project, but what you get is something very different. Now, na DMB unaweza tumia shembeta kwa case study yako juu you keep studying Dr. Pizzo to understand mbona sio sema ni mkali na ku plug na ku plug production ndugu yango ni amerudi ndugu yango ni alirarua every single track in this project has been produced well this is the octopizo we want this is octopizo we need say what you will about the man's lyricism say what you will about the man's ego and all these activities but octopizo's production in the hip hop sphere in kenya is unmatched you can quote me on that there is no one in kenya who actually produces his music seriously like octo and that's why i was pissed off with, uh, uh, with the last project because he never really showcased his abilities to pick and select beats properly and This guy came to prove that he is still the good. Eh? Okay, mnaweza lia calligraph oh ni nani ni but me I'll just say production wise hakuna mtu anashika kando kwake. Hip hop yeah ndo amebeba na hapa ame prove. Mixing and mastering hapa kuna shida kidogo. Uh, I feel like some projects some artists who recorded in different places and then they use different mixing and mastering engineers which is a very big problem in the music industry specifically in Kenya. The quality is not standardized. So sometimes Octopizo is up here and then the other guys are down here and then sometimes the other guys are up here Octopizo is down here and, and that's the weird thing. But I feel like Octo's vocals are the most consistent of all because it is project anyway. But Spia yeye kuna projects zingine you listen to his voice is nowhere. It's like it's it's in the background and you won't pick this up if you don't have really keen ears but it's an annoying thing that I just want to point out that's one of the things i noticed and i think about lyricism is um okay let's be honest it's octopizo I, i rarely listen to octo because of the lyrics i am here to have a good time i'm here to have a joyful time so what you get is what you expect he doesn't really push himself it's just i call octopizo the kenyan lilwe like we are going for bars punchlines and what not so if you expect some uh, sentimental stuff and uh, some deep thought provoking stuff like uh, what can i say who are these guys these guys from dandora kalamashaka and etc ah, you are in the wrong place don't, don't don't come here with that bullshit so that being said what do i think of this project this project amazed me i was a very, i had a very good time listening to it i was surprised by how good it was there's even a, a, a spanish feature in there that really slaps and i'm happy about it i'm happy about it so what am i going to say it's an it's an eight wow it's bigger than mdq mdq ni ndio aliniangusha juu ya features but hata tuseme tu kweli octo anampatia nani juu alifanya kazi fiti alifanya kazi fiti but surprisingly the project is not on spotify so you tend that job but so see me on the next one if you have any questions thoughts concerns and etc you know how to find me social media handles shiembetsa otherwise ni mimi nawapenda wote tuonane ni baadaye ah yeah Mesikiza Shimbetsa iwapo unadai kumtafuta FNNR ndilo jina pale kwenye YouTube na pia mtandaoni pale Instagram mahapa Instagram depending on where unaona hii video hiyo ni review yake ya Fuego by Octopizo Sasa kuheri Tumemaliza hadi next week.
to nane when to nane. It's almost three hours here. Next week to kujana how many points information perspectives course history of copyright. Kosasa to check in. Asante for the suggestions, playlist it akwa up on YouTube, Spotify, na Apple. Joa to diesel ya mua kujinchi yetu na sina yo energy ya ku enda si jinji angapi ku tafta na kupata an up. <laughs> Check out playlist ya last week or the last time we were here. Na tuka on the playlist. Ile ya Mother's Day. It's available. Pate uskize. Sante sana marengine for spending time with us for another sana ako sana Sunday session. Shukran kwa wakati wako. Hadi wiki ijayo. Enjoy. Enjoy your week while you can. Go deal with capitalism now.
As usual, if you're this far into the video, <laughs> almost three hours later, so you can join my Lianza Nayo earlier, and it's you have to be <laughs> a niche music listener to Mongolia music, who a niche, na sub genres, you are identifying Goman with the you need to know your ish. This is a relatively popular song, so you know that we are unajua unless we are in Mujera. No, no, Lisa, we are saying you can step out, Kiasi. What song is that? And then, no, the DMB, DMB, DMB. I am a subscribe. I subscribe to my follow my blog. Kitambo, so na lakini excuse ni kaa so mangi. I featured this song kwa Mziki ya Wiki some weeks back anyway the first song to lianza is stream nayo ni voices by ug c u g r u the letter and g but e u g g y part of an afro house project called sounds of sasab I've featured a number of songs from your project. I'm yet to listen to the whole thing. That was the starting song. I yakumaliza finally mtoke hapa ni Matopeni by Mutinda from the album with the same name. And with that tuonane Tuangeleshane, tujumuike next time. Shukran sana kwa wakati wako.